Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a try or fry on Colourpop's new no filter concealers. And I've worn these a couple of times, so I have my thoughts on these. So you've probably watched a ton of videos on these no filter concealers because they have been around for quite some time and my package took a month to reach me and I wanted to try them out before doing a video. These sold out pretty fast when they launched but they will be restocking soon. So this is how the packaging looks like. It is in a nude pink box with stripes on the sides. And this is how the tubes of the concealers look like. It comes in a 4 gram tube which looks quite big for 4 grams but it's probably because the plastic is rather thick and it has a paddle foot applicator so that dispenses product very easily and also applies product easily. So over here I have the shades Light Neutral 15 and Light 20 and after trying these out, I think Light 20 is more of a colour match for me, while Light Neutral kind of leaves an ashy greyish undertone to my skin, so that doesn't look very pretty. But I'll show you guys how both of these look on my face, and I usually like to blend them in with my fingers. I mean, I like to blend everything in with my fingers because it's convenient and easy, but I do have a blending sponge which I will be using also. So yep, these are highly pigmented and I'm currently wearing a sheer coverage BB cushion foundation so there are still a bit of spots to conceal but I do not have a ton of under eye problems so I don't think I need to use much and I wouldn't recommend piling on too much underneath your eyes or anywhere at all if you do not want it to appear cakey and if you want it to blend out nicely you just should do a little bit at a time because these are so pigmented and the formula is kind of oily if you go overboard. So if you blend it in with your fingers, it will look something like that. So that helps to brighten it up a bit. And I'm using the shade Light 20 on this side of my face first, so I'm going to use the sponge to blend the rest of it in because it is quicker, faster that way and the sponge will definitely help to absorb more product so if you apply it too much it will absorb some of it so that it doesn't look so cakey and streaky and you know. So that blended in perfectly with my skin tone and as I've said Light 20 seems to be a match for my skin but it didn't exactly cover my spots completely so maybe I will try blending it in with my fingers to see if that helps to give more coverage. Not sure if you can tell but blending it with your fingers definitely provides more coverage so this spot here has been concealed and so have some of the spots and on my chin it's like no longer dark it's evened out and it looks beigey like my skin. To take light neutral 15 on this half of my face and see if it shows up on camera how different the colour looks against my skin tone. So in person I can definitely tell that this side where I used light neutral 15 it looks kind of white and ashy underneath my eyes while on this side where I used light 20 it looks more natural and I mean I'm Asian so I have some warmth in my skin tone so I guess it makes sense that light 20 which has some warm undertones would match me better. So I think I can only use light neutral 15 for highlighting purposes for like my cheekbones or like my nose. So let's try and do that on this side of my face where the concealer was a match for my skin and see if that works. So that is everything blended out, so I think as a highlight, Light Neutral 15 works fine. It gives kind of like a cool toned touch to my face and I suppose that's alright if I want to wear some cool toned colours on my face, it would suit that. But as a concealer for under eyes and spot concealing, I wouldn't recommend it for my kind of skin because it really highlights the area because of that 
stark contrast in skin tones. So that's how they apply and as far as pigmentation goes, I think they are fairly pigmented and they do a great job in concealing. So I have a pigmented spot over here. I think it's a sunspot or it may be a scar but it is like a hyperpigmentation and so the concealer managed to cover most of it with two layers and I quite like the results of it. So as far as pigmentation goes, I think it is great. It also managed to cover my pimple spots and stuff. So yeah, it really helped to even out my skin tone. So from my experience so far, I have not had any caking or creasing underneath my eyes. I mean, I do not have that much lines underneath anyway, but I did notice that when I put on too much the first time around, it did start to accumulate in some of the lines underneath my eyes and it just didn't look flattering. But if you use a decent amount, nothing too much, then you shouldn't have a problem with caking or creasing and mine stayed put underneath my eyes for a decent amount of time, it did not fade. The concealer on the rest of my face, especially where like I oil up most, did fade throughout the day and it did come off when I blotted my face, so you will definitely need to touch it up if you are planning to wear it for a prolonged period of time, but as far as my under eyes, Go, it stayed put very well and I mean I don't get oily underneath here anyway so yeah while it is highly pigmented I wouldn't really recommend wearing this as foundation especially for oily skin because this already feels oily on its own when used in moderation it won't really feel heavy on your face but as a foundation I'm not so sure it may end up clogging your pores so I wouldn't really take the risk and who knows if it will make your face feel even more oily throughout the day, so yeah. So I think those are my thoughts on this concealer. I'm not a huge concealer fan, so I can't really say much, I guess. But I think for $6, this is a decent sized product, especially because you only need a little bit to go a long way since they are so highly pigmented and they spread so easily and they blend so well, so you really do not need that much every time. The downside I guess is that because they are only available online, it is quite hard to get a colour match or to determine which shade you are and you may not even like any of the shades that they offer. Alright, so if you have any questions regarding this product or anything at all, do leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for tuning in with me, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye bye!